Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Although it is possible to tape or post a Doberman's ears and train them to stand without cropping them, this practice is rarely done and very often not successful. Fully erect, uncropped ears on a Doberman will look similar in shape and size to that of a German Shepherd. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. They should be reposted every 5 to 7 days. Or immediately if they get wet, fall out, or look super crooked. With other ear posting methods, backer rod, paper towel, etc., I would recommend to change ear posts every 3 to 5 days. With this zip tie method, they may stay in longer, 5 to 7 days, as long as they are secure and dry. Take our lead. Why some think it's a bad idea the American Kennel Club AKC, says the practices are integral to defining and preserving breed character in certain breeds. But the American Veterinary Medical Association AVMA, opposes docking and cropping. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. There are specific breed characteristics for every breed of dog. However, to be absolutely sure your Doberman is a purebred dog, you can check the AKC papers or have a DNA test run. DNA tests for dogs are available at most pet supply outlets and cost about $50, as of 2011. Take our lead. 7. Ear cropping is not painful There is proof that the procedure is not a walk in the park. Pain meds are often prescribed for recovery. Puppies may yelp as they hit their ears against furniture. They are obliged to wear cones for many weeks to allow the ears to stand up correctly. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.